What is up, everybody? It is JT Sports. I am back to you guys with another episode of the JT Sports Podcast. Utah, once again, in the rematch, destroys Oregon 38-10 to to capture their first ever Pac-12 Conference Championship. I am so happy for the Utah Utes football program. This football team has been through a lot this year with losing players on their football team to unfortunate circumstances. My prayers go out to their families and the whole entire Utah football program. This has been an incredible season. A lot of adversity they had to face, not just on the field, but off the field as well. And now you're finally able to put the ending to a very memorable storybook season. And if you are an Oregon fan, you have to be severely disappointed with how your team performed today or tonight, I should say. And this might be Mario Christianball's last game as the head coach for Oregon because there are a lot of rumors heating up that Mario Christianball might end up taking the job at Miami. When you look at how this game went, pretty similar to how it went last time. Utah controlled the line of scrimmage. They dominated Oregon on both sides of the football. Oregon couldn't get into a rhythm offensively. What really has me surprised is I don't understand why Mario Christian Ball, an offensive coordinator for Oregon, Joe Moorhead, never made the decision to bench quarterback Anthony Brown for Ty Thompson. I mean, like, he was highly touted coming out of high school. We haven't really seen Ty Thompson all that much this year. And maybe Ty Thompson could have given you a spark on offense. You didn't really have anything to lose. You were down by several possessions. So why not go ahead and insert Ty Thompson into the game? At least you would like to see what he gives you in some real meaningful in-game action. But they decide to keep Anthony Brown in the game until the very end. And there's not really much to say about this game. Because this game went the exact similar way that the last game went. You saw the ground game for Utah really get going. As a matter of fact, Utah once again out game Oregon in the run game department. They had 191 rushing yards to only 74 rushing yards. And I don't really like the play calling that I saw tonight out of Oregon. I feel like this team wasn't really all that prepared. The defense, once again, got dominated up front by the physicality of Utah. And I apologize, Utah fans, for saying that Oregon was the better team. We saw tonight who was the better team, and we pretty much knew who the better team was in that last matchup. Utah just dominated Oregon in every facet of this game special teams offense defensively Utah's linebackers were really good Devin Lloyd had an outstanding night Oregon's defense for what it's worth actually had an okay showing in this game their offense didn't really do them much favors because they couldn't sustain drives they couldn't be efficient and despite the fact that the offense had a couple of turnovers Oregon's defense still was able to come on and help this offense out but eventually there's only so much you can do when you just can't get nothing going on offense and that Oregon defense end up getting shredded down to a pulp pretty much because anytime your defense is on the field for the amount of time that Oregon's defense was on the field it was only a matter of time before Oregon's defense started to get gas and those big bodies of Utah started to maul them into the ground and that's really what happened and pretty much this game was over from the opening kickoff because Oregon's offense just looked out of sorts Anthony Brown was missing wide open wide receivers and you got to get a lot of props to Utah's defense Utah's defense has been really good all all this year Cam Rising even though he did have two interceptions in this game I feel like he played pretty good he did a really good job using his legs something that you know maybe Oregon should have done a lot more trying to get Anthony Brown involved on the ground didn't really see all that much of that so I really feel like when you look at Utah this was just another great game that they dominated on every facet 
congratulations to them for winning their first ever Pac-12 championship. And for Oregon, you fall again. You're probably not going to end up playing in the New Year's Six Bowl game. And then you're probably going to lose your offensive coordinator, Joe Moorhead, who is expected to take the Akron job. And it is widely speculated that the Mario Christian Ball Sweet Stakes down to South Beach is starting to get a lot of traction, a lot of heat. If you're an Oregon fan, man, things are about to get incredibly tough for you. Or they may get incredibly tough for you over the next couple of weeks. But what we saw here tonight was an absolute whooping. And that's what Utah did to Oregon. They gave them a spanking. They pulled their pants down. They bent them over. And they just gave them a smacking with the belt. I don't really understand why Oregon came out so flat the way they did. Like, you had a couple of weeks to look back at the film, make adjustments. You had all week to come off a better game plan and it looked like Oregon did the same thing that they did the last game they didn't want to get Anthony Brown involved in the run game they got in a situation where they had to throw the football to win the football game and that was a big talking point when I was previewing this matchup I said that the team who had the most success on the ground will end up winning this game because these two teams aren't really built to throw the football, even though you probably could say that Oregon has more talent in their wide receiver room than Utah, but Utah had the better quarterback. Cam Rising, a lot of Utah fans came in the comment section when I was doing my preview and prediction and said that Cam Rising gets a better quarterback than Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown has been inconsistent all year. He's been inaccurate. His decision-making hasn't really been there at times, even though he's only thrown four interceptions as of right now on the season to the night. Anthony Brown really should have got benched in this game. And I don't really understand why the coaching staff of Oregon didn't decide to pull the plug. Maybe Ty Thompson isn't ready. I don't know, but hats off to the Utah Utes football program for winning their first ever Pac-12 championship. They defeat Oregon 38-10. to They clinched their spot in the Rose Bowl potentially with a lot of people expecting them to match up against Ohio State. Very interesting. Very interesting matchup because we saw Oregon defeat Ohio State earlier this year with a similar game plan that Utah does. They're going to end up going 12-13 personnel on that Ohio State defense. They're going to run the football very effectively because I don't really think Ohio State's defensive line or at least their front seven is as good as what a lot of people think. On top of that, their linebackers got picked on a lot during their loss to Michigan. So Utah fans, I know you're very happy. Congratulations on a very good season. You guys been through a lot. The football program's been through a lot definitely this is a happy way to end the year and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the jt sports podcast make sure that you guys check out the jt sports podcast available on all podcasting platforms every video that is uploaded on the channel is available in audio format on every single podcasting platform apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify podcast wherever you get your podcast from the jt sports podcast is available